Hello, it's Alina from Xamate Mastery here today to talk about activity codes in Xactimate. So many of you experienced users, I do have a good tip for you as well that I had learned this past week or had kind of figured out while working on an estimate with a person. So you want to stick around. Even if you know what an activity code is, I think you'll get some good information out of this video. So let's take a look at what activity codes are and how we can use them to match the adjuster's estimate. am in an estimate. Of course, I'm in estimate items, and we're going to take a look at the line items here that you see. Now, on a lot of AmFam, I believe, and there's another carrier, it's not coming to mind right now, you'll see where they separate out the material from the install. Let's just take a look at what this looks like on the report real quick here, just so I can drive this home. You'll see it looks like what you have on my screen. Material only, install only. Notice that the material only has the waste. Sometimes the install will not include the waste even though there is extra labor to install those shingles. So watch out for that. Just a side note, something you can supplement for. But the way that we get this separation of material versus install here, let me just demonstrate what usually happens whenever you add a shingle line item to your estimate. It's going to come in with the activity code, and you'll see that here in my quick entry screen. The activity code is remove and replace. So if you drop down the list, they actually define everything for you, which is great. They add the remove and replace for you. And so you'll go ahead and add that shingle line item. I'm going to add a different one so I don't get an error here. I'm going to left click OK and you're going to see it's going to go ahead and separate out removal from replacement, which looks great. But if you want it to look like this with your material separated from your install, you're going to need to take your replacement and change it to material only and then add back in another RFG 300 and make that install only. That is how they went ahead and acquired this look on their estimate. So there's a myriad of activities that are available per line item. Like if we go to the asphalt starter, for example, there's not gonna be all that many options under the activity code. Look at this, replace material and so only. They do not even have remove here. It's pretty crazy. It depends on the line item with how much you'll be able to vary the activity code. So just get to know your line items really well. Come to an understanding of the definitions of, of what is what, and it will help you out here in the long run. Now, one thing I do want to bring out here is you need to pay attention to your definitions. So if I click on my uh, roof vent turtle type and go to my click for detail, you'll notice it says this removal activity is intended to be used when the vent only is being used or being removed for disposal. So having this remove and replace here, now because the definition has changed, that may have not been there in the past, which is why a lot of contractors have been using remove and replace. Now that it's in there, it's saying that removal only isn't warranted. The adjuster will then change this to replace only. Same with your flashing pipe jacks. It'll say, uh, note the removal activity is intended to be used for when the pipe jack flashing only is being used or being removed for disposal. So watch for that. That's why they're changing these guys out there. I get uh, this one of my commonly or frequently asked line items. Can we supplement for removal? According to exact words definitions, if you're going to be fair, we need to read the definitions because I'm going to hold the adjuster to it when it comes up, right? So get to know your definitions, look at that. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm sure I'm gonna get some very interesting, colorful comments. But um, at the end of the day, if we're gonna play by exact word definitions and rules, then we need to find somewhere else um, to address that money that um, you're used to seeing with the remove and replace. Now the one thing I did want to bring to light too is if you have a specialty item, let's say we have a special vent and we're gonna use a bid item for that. Let's say that the material only costs, I don't know, $68 for a specialized vent. We had two of those. I can affect that here in the program and just left click OK. And I like the activity code of replace only. That is fine. However, this only is for material, okay? And I can actually 
make an attachment that just says material cost that came from my supplier because there wasn't this type of vent in Xactimate. So we can use a bid item to overcome that, but we can also add a vent depending on the type of vent you're dealing with, whether it was a brown vent or what you have you, I'm gonna go with the turtle vent. I could use the install only price here so that I can make up for that labor cost. So know that you can use the activity codes this way too if your bid item is only from your supplier and you're not really sure, you know, how, to, how do I put in that labor cost? Well, install only might be a good option for you since the supplier cost is material only. So that was kind of my higher level thought here, something that I have been thinking about over the past week that you can go ahead and use that install only for the labor item might help you out too with some of those bid items. If this topic was helpful to you, please be sure to like this video and also subscribe as I release a new video every Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday, and you'll get updates on your feed if you subscribe below. Also, please comment if you have any thoughts on the activity codes and how you use them. Would love to hear your perspective and hear some new ideas. That would be awesome. My name is Alina Wilson from Eximate Mastery. For more information on what I do over here, train contractors to use Xactimate to simplify your supplement life, go to eximatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week out there in your business. Stay safe, and I'll see you next week.